Hey folks, let's take a look at adding your own film or animation into a billboard. I've got Piccadilly Circus here and there on the billboard is my old Robo Film showreel up there. Okay. So, there it goes off the screen. Okay, so let's take a look. Here's one I prepared earlier. So I've got this uh, footage in here and just to save time, if I go to my effect controls, I've already ran the track camera. Okay, so I've just right clicked on it, chosen track camera. Obviously it takes a few minutes, so to save time, I've done it in advance. And, the, and I did a detailed analysis on this one and also on the actual uh, solve method I chose tripod pan just because this is a tripod pan so that works fine so I click on here and we can see I've got all my track points okay so I know that I want to put something on the billboard so I can put my target over the billboard okay and I can do create null and camera okay so I've now got a null object it's just approximately in the corner there so what I'll now do I'll do a new composition okay so about new composition Oop, layer new uh, there we go sorry and I'll call this uh, billboard okay and I'm going to make it 600 by 150 seems to be a nice kind of oblong length to fit in this shape okay so there's my new comp and let's scale that up okay so onto that I could pop in my film okay so I put my little show reel in there okay and to make it fit I did layer and I used the uh, transform fit to comp height and then let's just bring it forward a little bit there we go something like that and I also did CC repertoire so that I could expand it to the right there we go bring that out and also expand it to the left okay so I've now got this composition and this could be anything in here uh, we could add text to this let's put some text in Let's put uh, Robo Films. There we go. Okay. And let's just change the old settings here. Let's make it 100. Oops. Always have to click twice for some reason. There we go. Let's make that a bit smaller. And I'll just align that up. Okay. So we've got a, so we've got ourselves a sign there. So just jumping back to this. So we've got this null object. So I'm going to bring in my billboard. There it is. Okay, I'm going to make it 3D. And this is going to make it probably disappear. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the 3D box. Oh, where's it gone? Well, it's, it's in there somewhere. But because we've got the camera in and we've got to the custom view. Um, oh, yep, yeah, it's kind of... Where's the camera looking? The camera's looking that way. That's over there okay so let's just jump back to our active camera we've got the null object this is our friend I'll hit P I'm going to copy the position I'm going to hit P on this I'm going to paste the position okay now we're kind of in the right place now what I can now do is just use the rotation on this Turn it around I can just move it in to the right spot pull that down okay and just just try to get it on the corner kind of with the right settings and I can scale this down Just want to make it fill in that top slot. That's starting to look about right. Move this over. Oh, 
Okay. It's a little bit played about, and hopefully that should be good. If we, I'll put it on the lower res. So play faster. Here we go. All right. So it seems to be nicely glued in place there with our 3D camera tracker. All that we now need to do is distort this. Wrap it around. Let's just move forward so I can see the whole thing. So in my effects and presets, I'm going to go to find the mesh. Mesh warp. Drop that on. Okay, so rows. Well, I don't need any rows and maybe just three columns. Three columns should do it. And now let's make this bigger so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I can start to use these corner points and just play about now. Get them in the right spot. Oops, easily done. Click back on the effect to get the handles. It's just trying to get it to fit over the original image. Okay, if you've got more time, and you need to do more details you can always add more columns but just three seems to be working okay just get it to fit the original image oh, it looks pretty close oops put your fingers there we go and then Okay, there we have a new billboard for Piccadilly Circus. So with the 3D camera tracker and a distortion effect, it's actually quite easy. So um, you can now just, if you want to change what's on here, just open this pre-comp, change that to anything you like. Let's just have a layer new solid okay let's just have a red background we've now got red background okay easy as all right so great little tool 3d camera tracker lots of great uses so happy after effects in thanks folks